you're coming to the most dangerous city. It's, it can be a scary thing knowing that it's not as safe as home. And for me, when I was started to think about that, I just, I felt like it was God um, just placing this trip in my lap. It was the perfect timing. And I just, I felt a desire to come here. And so for me to get over that, that fear of being here, it, <laughs> it was just um, knowing that God is in control and that God has a plan and um, not being scared to follow his plan. The, the home here, Emmanuel Children's Home, is just an incredible place. Next year they celebrate their 50th anniversary. And what makes it so incredible are the relationships that are developed here. You know, the whole week has been great, playing with them, hanging out, um, but really the time where you can tell that, you know, they're sharing their real life with us and we're able to, even just for a couple of days, you know, really be here with them. Um, that's, that's made the di most difference to me and I think that's the most lasting impact that I'll take back with me as well. Um, and it seems like there's kid after kid after kid that really needs that love and attention. Um, it's just fun to be able to interact with them and that's, that's really what I love most about this. Kids who maybe don't have a lot of opportunities or kids who are living in cardboard homes or kids who don't get three meals a day or kids who don't get an education are able to have all those things, are able to have a hope and are able to have, um, have people show them Christ's love in a way that is real and authentic and sincere and um, this place is doing things for Christ um, in probably one of the most darkest places in the world. It is fun but it's hard and it's just like if you, I don't want to say do it the right way, but if, you're, if your heart's in the right place, um, I think God can use you. In the kids' lives, they haven't been easy, but when they're all here together and working towards something and creating maybe a better life, that's what it's all about. And that's what I see here. I've only been here for four or five days, but I've never seen anything like this place. And all I see is God in every single kid's face. Um, in the morning, I just love to get the kids going. I tell them every day that energy is a choice, not a feeling, that we make it happen, that besides our God, that our wills are the strongest forces in the universe, and that we can choose to make this day one that we worship Him in everything we do. Doing you know, the working hard, having some fun, and uh, getting ready for the day. It's amazing to see how much that translates into the, into the faces and the bodies of the kids here as they as they they feel that energy and they start sensing that God gave them this moment um, you know it becomes very 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 special that's what we do here it's just different activities and keeping the kids moving and keeping them excited about everything and it's it's not just basketball it's pieces of fun that we bring together to put on this little mission we decided to have a fiesta for the kids um, because we just wanted to do something fun. We had a cakewalk, we had um, like knock down the cans game, we had a ring toss, we had face painting and fingernail polish and tattoos. Um, and it was just amazing to see how the kids responded to it. You could just see the excitement on their faces and in their, uh, in their smiles. Um, and when they ran through that door, with their bags in hand, ready to get all the candy they could. Like the joy was so real and present that um, it just brought a smile to my face. Going up the mountain um, to the cross they have above the city here. And um, every step being up, up a hill kind of reminded me of of, of Christ's walk up Golgotha. And as we got to the cross, um, I thought it was important that we um, um, take a look at scripture and, and look at in Joshua where the 12 tribes crossed the um, Jordan and they pulled out 12 rocks and left it behind so that the people of Israel would remember what God had done. And I thought it would be a really good moment for us to grab you know, 12 rocks up there, place them, to remember what God has done here um, with us and for and to us, probably even more so um, as we've been here.
And that was a really powerful experience and giving him glory as the sun rose was amazing. I've had those experiences where you, you travel, you go somewhere and it's like, yeah, that was a good experience, but I don't know that I'd want to do it again. And this is certainly not that. It was, it's, it was wonderful. Um, and again, it's for me, mostly it's the people and they're just, they're great and, and God is so here that, uh, that I want to come back. These kids will bless you more than you can ever bless them. Knowing that I will have to leave them for a while, it will be hard to say goodbye, but I know it's not adios, it's hasta luego. It's not goodbye forever, but see you later. It's just an incredible place that, that has turned into one of the, my favorite places in the whole world.